So um, in everyday life, uh, before we went into hiding in our houses, I typically wear my Chaco classic um, Z2 sandals pretty much every single day of my life. One of the first things I noticed once we moved into this period of isolation was my feet were really just not used to being barefoot for hours upon hours upon hours a day. Um, and I was experiencing some discomfort in my arches, um, possibly consistent with uh, just, I guess, tendon exhaustion, that sort of thing. Um, and so I got the Chaco Chillos, um, which REI now has at its website. Um, I ordered a pair of the Chillos for myself and for my mother, and I decided so long as I'm trying these out, I would do a little review for the benefit of our staff knowledge. Let's get through the good stuff first. Firstly, I've been wearing them for over a week now, and I do not find that I'm experiencing that same arch tendon pain. Um, they are very lightweight. Um, the outsole pattern, although it works just fine on the floor, would also be great for uh, a shoe to wear on a road trip or something like that. Uh, for the most part, I'm pretty pleased with them. I've been wearing them every day, and I like them, and I think I'm going to continue to wear them. There are, however, a couple small downsides. Sizing-wise, they absolutely run big. Um, so my feet measure just a little bit longer than a men's 7.5. Um, means that pretty much all my running shoes are like men's 8.5s. Uh, these fit correctly at a men's 7. Um, so that's something to bear in mind if, for example, we have a customer in one of our stores that's curious about this product, but we don't have it in the store for them to try on and they're interested in ordering it from REI.com. They, if they're on the border between two sizes, since they do only come in whole sizes, um, I would recommend going down in size as they do run a little bit big. Other stray observations that I think are worth mentioning is that on their website, they specifically say that they're built off of the love seat footbed, which I think is interesting. And this is probably my one frustration with the product. Um, I felt that wearing them, being very familiar with the love seat footbed, that they feel um, as though the pressure on the uh, medial arch is a little bit further forward towards the front of the foot. Uh, it's a much lower overall profile uh, footbed with pretty much no heel support to speak of. It's primarily focused on the arch support. This to me makes it feel more similar to the Playa flip-flop footbed than it does to that classic Chaco love seat footbed. Um, this may feel somewhat familiar to people that have tried on the Z-Volve before, although it's not quite the same feel. My mother has also been wearing hers for the last week or so, and I think that she has also been more or less pleased with hers. Um, the comments that I did get from her perspective that were maybe a little bit less positive were just the level of adjustability for people with very high volume feet. You will be maxing out the adjustment uh, and people with very low volume feet may have a tough time uh, getting them cinched down sufficiently. Uh, beyond that, they uh, she did say that she was having a little bit of a tough time uh, with the abrasion along her side of her feet. Um, which I cannot personally say that I experienced, but everyone's a little bit different. So overall, I think I'm going to give the Choco Chillos a A minus. Um, after the uh, isolation period with COVID-19 is over, these will probably become my road trip shoes. Something you can wear in the car, slide on to run at the gas station, something like that. Or I might continue to use them as a house shoe slipper sort of thing. I'm sure they will eventually become pretty important to my uh, Big Lebowski and Tobias Funke costumes over the years. Um, but uh, look for these in your stores once reopened, and uh, hopefully this will be informative to my fellow Green Vests. See you guys soon.